guys, I got robbed. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna tell a story about something that happened to me years ago that I think everyone could learn from. So back in my early 20s, I was selling Beanie Babies and I was buying them from all kinds of people. Like literally, people were just getting them from stores, selling them to me because I was able to buy them in big quantities and had tons of money to buy everything somebody had. Well, I had a few like shady people I bought stuff from. I didn't know they were shady at the time, but I found out later. This is how I found out. So as everybody knows, back when I was 19, I made my first million dollars and I saved it. Well, in my 20s, I made my first $10 million. This is the business that made me the money and I have a video coming soon to show you how I did it and all the details. But going back to this story. So I'm in my early 20s and I'm just buying and selling Beanie Babies. And I really wanna buy as much as possible because the more I buy, the more money I can make. This is a quantity game. I bought from all kinds of people. So there's one particular person that I used to buy from and he was a very good supplier of mine. He'd sell me a lot of Beanie Babies and I made a lot of money off him. One day back when I bought my first house when I was 22 years old, he actually came over to my house to visit. He was one of the only people that have been to my house so far and he sold me a bunch of Beanie Babies and I paid him, he dropped them off and funny enough, he walked around my house asking me questions and I was like, okay, cool. He just wants to see how my house is. Awesome, I love to show him. So I showed him around. He saw that I just put an alarm in but I only put it in like part of my house. And then funny enough, I just got like a little dog and he's like, oh, I wanna meet your dog. So I showed him my dog and he became really friendly with him, which was, you know, not a big deal. I mean, a lot of people wanna come and pet your dog and become friendly with him. So I thought nothing of it. But then he's like, you know what? I need to use the bathroom. I was like, okay, that's normal too. Go use the bathroom. So I had a bathroom on my main level that was right by my back deck. I keep all my windows locked, my doors locked all the time, especially when I'm not there. So he got out of the bathroom, he came back in the living room. We started talking a little bit more. He was asking me, you know, what my plans were for, you know, the next few days. And I told him that me and my, you know, my girlfriend at the time, Donna, we were going to the movies the next night. He's like, okay, cool. You know, maybe we should go out and double date sometimes. I'm like, all right, perfect. So the next night I went on my date. We went to dinner and then of course we went to the movies like I told we were going to. I said <laughs> so I want to make sure that you actually like these stories I'm telling because I have no idea. If you guys don't comment and like, I don't know if these are the types of videos you want to see me make or you want me to see me make some other types of videos. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe to my channel and tell me what you want to see next and that's what I'm going to make. So the next day I go out with my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife. I'm at, I'm at the movies and my phone keeps going off, but you know, I'm at the movies so I don't answer it. After the movies, I look at my phone because it just kept going off and I saw like a weird number. So I listen to my message and it's like this is the alarm company you uh have a you know an alarm that's going off you might want to come to your house i was like oh shit all right it's probably you know a false alarm i just got this alarm put in so i'm thinking you know whatever i go home right away and then i see my house is broken into and there's nothing broken like there's no doors kicked in there's no windows shattered like somebody got in but nobody had the key so how do they get in well, the police came by and I showed them because when they went to my house, I have like a secure room that has locks on it and they kicked the door in and broke it all open. And you know, they started taking stuff. So I had the police come and the police are like, this is strange, you know, like who has access to your house? Because this person like didn't break in. They were able to get in really easily. And we looked around the house and we figured out the way this person got in the house was through the bathroom window and the window was actually open, it wasn't locked. The one that my friend the previous day went to the bathroom at. This window is always locked and just randomly all of a sudden, it's not locked. So what got stolen at my house? They kicked in the door that I keep all my expensive Beanie Babies in. And they literally, they must have had bags and they piled all the expensive Beanie Babies into this bag. They literally try to steal nothing else. So whoever came by knew Beanie Babies. They didn't really know other stuff. What's crazy is I had my alarm put in like a week before but what I didn't tell my one friend was that half of my house had an alarm and the other half didn't. He didn't realize that I had an alarm on part of my house. So he actually went upstairs through the, I have two sets of stairs. He went up the stairs that didn't have the alarm. For whatever crazy reason, when he came down the stairs, he went down the stairs that had a motion detector and the alarm went off. And when the police came by and I came home, there were literally bags and Beanie Babies all throughout the house, all throughout my backyard, because he left through my backyard and probably didn't even take anything. Probably took maybe nothing or very, very little because my alarm went off and whoever it was got really, really scared. 
They basically just did a whole lot of damage to my house because they kicked in doors. From that point on, my security systems in all my homes since then have been like top notch. Like I have cameras everywhere. I can see what's going on. I have alarms. I have motion detectors in every single room. I have window glass breaks in every single room. I have crazy different things that like a lot of people don't have. So I can't tell you everything, but it's gonna be very hard to break in my house and get away with it right now. But I don't even think anyone wants to break in my house now because I literally don't even keep anything in my house that's worth breaking into. But if they do, they're gonna be pissed because they don't get anything but they're always gonna get pissed because they're gonna get caught. Oh my God, are you still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet? You haven't commented or liked it? What the hell are you doing? Make sure you do that now. So now the police are asking me, who would wanna break in your house? Who knows about Beanie Babies? Who knows that you weren't home? Who knows all these other things? Who could have opened this window? You have a dog in the house. Most people don't break into homes that have dogs. Do you know anyone that's friendly with your dog? So now I'm starting to think, holy shit. This fucking guy that I do a lot of business with basically is the only possible person that could have done it. This is the person that sells me all these Beanie Babies. First off, he knows what the Beanie Babies are worth. They only took the, the, the good ones. Most people don't know which ones are good. He also knew that I wasn't gonna be home that night. He knew my alarm system like wasn't really fully operational. He knew that, you know, my dog, he was friendly with him. So like when he came in the house, the dog wouldn't think anything weird and would just you know, treat him like a normal person. And on top of all this, he's the only one that used that bathroom literally the day before that he broke in and opened the window because there was nobody else that could have done it. Everything leaded to this guy. There was nobody else that could have done it. All right, so now I have a big dilemma on my hand. I pretty much know 100% who just broke into my house. And do I like confront him? And do I like get mad at him? Do I say, you know, fuck you, like I'm gonna kick your ass, all this stuff, or do I ignore it? You might ask, well, why would I ignore it? Well, I made a lot of money off this guy. Like literally he would sell me Beanie Babies every single week. You know, sometimes I'd make a thousand or a few thousand dollars a week off this guy. So I could ruin my relationship with him and then I probably won't make that money off him every single month and he'll be selling it to somebody else. Or I can keep that relationship and, you know, basically kind of hint to him that I know that it was him, but not like be super confrontational about it and still make that money every single week. Of course I was super pissed and you know, if I had to make a decision that night, I probably would have made the wrong decision. But I got to think about it overnight and a couple days, and I'm like, you know what? Let me keep making money off this guy. Like, why blow it to where he's not gonna sell me anything anymore and I'm not gonna wanna buy off him anymore because that's just really gonna hurt me more than him. So that's what I did. So this was back when I was 22 years old. I'm 47 right now. 35 years later, I'm still friends with this guy. I probably made hundreds of thousands of dollars off this guy selling me Beanie Babies and you know other things later on and if i just made this crazy decision to basically cut him out of my life then i would have lost a, a ton of money now what i did do was i definitely let him know that i knew it was him and uh, of course i couldn't like prove it 100 percent, but there's nobody else it could have been so since that day where he broke in my house i literally have been super careful dealing with him i watch him like a hawk every single time he's around and i make sure there's nothing he can do and i made sure that he knows 100 percent that i know it was him so he wouldn't be stupid enough to try anything and of course i show him all these different security measures i have right now and all these different things i put in place to where if he ever thought he would do something crazy like that again he's gonna be so busted and maybe even worse than busted. So let me give you a summary of this story. After everything that happened, this is what you know. I hope you guys could learn, and this is what I've learned from this: is that don't let your emotions get involved when you know it comes to different you know scenarios when it comes to business. Because the point of business is making as much money as possible and being safe. And as long as you can be safe, you know, don't ruin a relationship if you can make a lot more money off them. I actually watched a couple really cool movies over my teenage years and my early 20s that had people that did all kinds of crazy stuff they didn't wanna do just to build rapport with people because they knew that eventually they're gonna use that person to their advantage, even though that person keeps screwing them over, they just acted like it wasn't a big deal. So one of the movies that um, I learned this from, that I actually got this idea from, was a movie called Escape from Alcatraz. The people that escaped from Alcatraz literally like kissed ass of all the guards, kissed ass of all the other inmates, and they got picked on, they got treated like crap, and they took it, but you know what? They got shanks, they got like stuff that they could, you know, dig in and be able to break out of their cell and eventually swim across the ocean and actually escape from Alcatraz. These are the only people to ever have escaped. It's just amazing of what you could do with your mind 
to be able to take and be able to realize that you could take all this crap, but it's gonna pay off in the future in a big way. Why am I so sad? Because you guys haven't subscribed, commented, or liked this video yet. And on top of that, you need to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these going forward. Hey Jeff, if you watch this video to the end, go fuck yourself. I told you, just tell me you did it. It's been 35 years, I don't give a fuck. Just tell me, like, it's funny now. Like, I made a video off it. I'm gonna make some money off this. This is like a cool story. Just tell me you did it. I don't know why you gotta keep denying it. I don't care, I totally forgive you. I made tons of money off you. Just admit it. <laughs>